G'day guys, the fishing has been monumentally slow in my area and it feels like a lifetime since I caught a fish. Nevertheless, I'm out on the Compaspe River today, the sun's shining, hopefully I can get onto something. Righto, I've got corn on this rod and worms on the other rod. Now there's a bed of weeds that runs along the side of the river here. What I'm going to be trying to do is putting the corn down right next to that where hopefully a carp's swimming around looking for some food. And the worms I'll put out straight in front of me, out in that open spot there, sort of underneath that overhanging branch with the hope of catching a carp or anything else that might want a worm today. I've got both rods laying down today as opposed to the stand-up type of rod holders and the reason for that is because there's a fair bit of wind around and it'll stop the wind messing with my lines and my bells so much if they're down lower to the ground. One hour later. Righto, I am one hour in without a touch. I'm going to pull these baits up, make sure they're still on the hook and not snagged and throw them back out. fish on. There you go. I'd actually cast this one out to the other side of the river with the hope that something might change and it certainly has. Now this is on the worms and it feels pretty big. I'm gonna say it's a carp. I'm not gonna risk taking the bells off because I don't want to lose this fish. <laughs> He's given me a decent fight and what's surprising is he doesn't want to come up. What is it? It's not as big as I thought but geez it's fighting hard. Is it a yeller? Or is that a silver? I think that's a silver perch. That's a nice one too. You ripper. Oh, I've got the net here. <laughs> well, there you go. I've been sitting here for nearly an hour and a half without even a touch. And then this guy just came and swallowed the worms. That is a beautiful little silver perch. Well, I say little, that's pretty bloody big for a silver perch actually. In here it is anyway. Shut up, bells. <laughs> I wet my hands on the net so I can look after him. <sighs> Chill out, mate. Look at this. They always bow their bodies, these silver perch. It makes them so hard to hold on to because they're also very, very spiky. Ugh. Look at that magnificent silver perch. <laughs> He's up there with one of the biggest I've ever caught. I think my PB is 41 centimeters for a silver. Let's have a look. Oh, he's <laughs> spot on, mate. You've equaled my personal best silver perch from a couple of years ago. You absolute gun of a fish. You have saved me from a donut today and I've had too many of them this winter. <laughs> I was thinking I'll probably only have a chance at a carp here today, but what a bloody surprise this is. Ripper of a fish. I'm so happy to be on the board. Is my luck starting to change? <laughs> Obviously, one fish is better than the no fish I've been catching on average. So, all right, mate, I'll go over here where it's a bit deeper and I'll spear you in. See you later. Well, not really a spear, it was more of a belly flop, but they always seem to kick just as I let go. Oh well, he's off and happy back in the system. You ripper, 40 centimetre, 41 centimetre silver perch. I am a happy man, I can tell you. <laughs> a couple more fresh Janjuk worms on the hook there, and I'll try and throw it back out where it was, which was over there in front of that old log or stump sticking up out of the water. 
Well, I'm out of time for today's video, but uh, in three hours I had one bite which led to one fish and what a fish it was, a 41 centimetre silver perch, absolutely stoked. Uh, it's a definite improvement over the run of donuts I've had and hopefully a good sign of things to come, a sign of good things to come, something like that. <laughs> if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and I'll see you next time, whenever that is. Hopefully I can catch another fish soon.